South Dakota in droves this summer to enjoy the space as well as the scenery. But one man is traveling through in a pretty unique way. Austin Goss has that story from Pierre. South Dakota has a very special traveler passing through this month by boat. If his journey is successful, he will become the first solo canoeist to pass through the country continuously. Neil Moore is a published author and former CNN contributor who has traveled the world as a way to draw inspiration for his work. What I'm doing is I'm, I'm connecting 22 rivers and 22 states. It's going to take uh, roughly 22, 22 months. Moore has completed similar journeys down the Mississippi River and the Columbia River. Despite all his travel, this is his first ever time in South Dakota. The rugged natural beauty, and I, I've just found uh, the, the sun sets, the sun rises, and also these, these storms that sweep across the river are just uh, unbelievably beautiful, also potentially dangerous. <laughs> Moore has been able to find refuge along his journey with people of similar interests. In addition, he has gotten a little bit of advice. So I'm his local meteorology um, guru for wind, speed, and direction, and other assorted facts about the river. Itself. If successful, Moore's journey will end at one of America's most famous landmarks. The end game is the Hudson River, to come down the Hudson River to New York City. And I plan to, uh, to circle around the Statue of Liberty, land at Liberty State Park in Jersey. Then the backdrop is going to be Lady Liberty with Manhattan behind. Moore got to South Dakota about two weeks ago, and he has about two more weeks before he gets to the southeastern part of the state to continue his journey. From Pierre, Austin Goss, Dakota News Now.